practice returns to our screens on uh, Thursday night, yep, on ITV, and uh, we went behind the scenes. This is the beautiful Peak District, and this is the set of Peak Practice Series 12. One of the firm favourites of peak practice is hunky doctor Tom Dennerly, played by Gray O'Brien. So he, he's kind of turning into a bit more of an action man, is he, in this series then? Do we, well, we, do we get to be doing anything man. else? We do a couple of things, you know. Um, we have a stunt arranger on this show who knows I'm very keen. Yeah. So every time an action sequence comes up, I'll say, can I get involved? I've done a bit of chasing and jumping on moving vehicles and stuff, and a mm. bit of climbing and a bit of upselling, and it's, it's, been, it's been good. It's, mm. it's better, you know. I, I don't... I'm not saying that it's, it's different from sitting behind the desk and saying, how's your bunion this week? And here's a prescription. <laughs> Rub some cream on it three times a day. It's nice to get outside and do some, yeah. some uh, action stuff. It really is. I'm coming down! Need x rays No, You've no. dislocated it. I don't want my mum to know about this. She'll go mad. Right. Right, I'm going to put it back in. Lie down nice and flat. Terry, this is really going to hurt. This series is like doing series one all over again. We've got a new producer, we've got new writers, we've got fantastic new cast. We've got a girl called Eva Pope. Yes. Met her? Ex Corrie, isn't she? Ex Corrie. Yeah. And I hear she's going to cause chaos. Can you give us any hints as well? I don't think she's I'm going to give you any hint, but she causes <laughs> more than chaos. She causes mayhem wherever she goes. I can't believe you're here. That's... Why didn't you give me a ring? Well, I thought you might call me. Thanks, Carl. So how you been? I hear your foot loose from fancy free at last. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a long story. Maybe later? Yeah. So Jackie Cabler behind the scenes there and we have booked an appointment with the doctor this morning. <laughs> we've got Simon Shepherd in the studio, Dr. Will Preston. Hi, hello. Good to see you, Doc. And hey, a new face in Car Carsdale uh, on that well, Thursday yeah, I... night and we, we just got a glimpse there. It's a scary face. It's uh, a, um, Eva Pope has eaten this part up. The whole new series has been revamped by Neil Zeiger, the producer. He was told to go back to the original Lucy Gannon um, sharp-edged drama that she created a long, long time ago. Um, and he's done it. And Eva Pope is very central to that. She comes in, she's the new nurse, she has a history, and she has an effect on absolutely everybody, including the animals in the show. So it's, oh, really? Um, mm, <laughs> she is brilliant in this part. So she's not your average nurse, then? She's certainly not. She has a past and she has a future right through the show. And uh, it's, she creates mayhem wherever she goes. It's mm. very exciting to, to be around. So things will literally be shaken up, then? I mean, because you, yeah. you've seen a lot of comings and goings in your, in your time there. How, how long have you been there now, Simon? Well, it's, I did the first four series, had about six series out, and came back in series ten. And this is series 12, and it's m m revitalized. It's it is like doing a new show. I mean, every day we would be going in and not... I couldn't believe that we were all so enthusiastic. I mean, there's nothing stale about it at all. It's really sharp this time. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes. Okay, yeah. so we've got the new nurse, played by, by Eva Pope, who comes in and wreaks havoc um, uh, everywhere. Um, now, also, uh, Dr. Preston, he's got problems with his son, Tony. Yes. Uh, Tony from his first marriage, um, who's now 19 and a student, comes back. You don't expect him to come back. You don't know who he is. And then you realize that it's uh, somebody that the audience won't have seen since he was 13. He comes back to, again, wreak havoc in Dr. Will's life. Um, he's remarried to Dr. Kate, has a stepson of his own, has lost his, his child along the way with Kate. So you would think it could be a happy father-son reunion, but it's not. And he, he starts Will on a self-questioning uh, downward spiral, really. Over the next couple of weeks, you'll see a lot of emotional father-son mm. scenes. Then that's the base plate mm. for the rest of the series. Will, Will is in a melee of uh, emotion. And I, th I think the first series, Lucy Gannon created very brilliantly uh, a decline into a nervous breakdown for Will. And it's been the most exciting stuff this series since that that I've had to play. 
The only thing is, it doesn't sound like a bundle of fun being a GP, really. <laughs> you know why they're all worried I about wouldn't be getting... One. <laughs> you know why they're worried about falling numbers and being able to attract the, the, the right type of person and whatever to... Yeah to general practice and whatever. <laughs> it's hardly a great advert for I don't it, think it's an advert to go up to Cardale, <laughs> but luckily it's fictional, so we're, you know, yeah. I don't think it's going to affect the NHS. At the end of the day, it's a drama, and it's, a, it's an emotional family storyline that goes through almost every episode. And do you appreciate in real life how tough a job it would be? Entirely. I mean, I haven't got a clue. The hours, the commitment, the vocation, um, you know, it's really opened my eyes mm. to general practice. Now, Simon apparently will open your eyes on that uh, on BBC Two. Is it next Friday night? Yes, Friday next week, Friday, Friday night. Week, is yes. it? Yeah. In Gimme Gimme Gimme, <laughs> Kathy Burke and, and James Dreyfus, and uh, you've been elevated in that. Yeah, I'm now Sir Simon Shepherd. Uh -huh. um, I and hope you see the day. I hope it comes. <laughs> well, I think actually, if anybody sees that episode, <laughs> they probably won't be giving me a night. So, um, I won't say too much, but he. Sir Simon Shepherd is not acting anymore. He's living in a garden at the back of their house as a down and out uh, with the marvellous Miss Twitch, who is Linda's um, toughest screw from Borstal. Miss Twitch, fingers to her friends, played by the brilliant Anne Mitchell. Uh -huh. And they're a couple. And I won't say any more. Any but more than that? No, okay. but it, is, it is, makes me laugh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's November 2nd. I think that's uh, Friday week. Simon, good luck to you with uh, Peak Practice, Thursday Great. night ITV. And uh, I hope it uh, fares well for Dr. Preston. He's certainly uh, going to be busy one way or other. He certainly um, is. This series. Good seeing you. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed.